Now, on the 22nd of March 2018, the first Indigenous Chairman and Managing Director of the United African Company of Nigeria, PLC, Dr. Christopher Abebe, died at the age of 99. On the show today, we present to you an evening of tribute in his honour. He was the first Indigenous Chairman and Managing Director of the United Africa Company of Nigeria, PLC, contributing to the growth and development of the country, especially in the corporate sector where he played a key role. Through hard work, Dr. Christopher Abebe got to the pinnacle of his career. On March 22, 2018, the patriarch of the Abebe family from Irekwe, Isan West Local Government Area of Edison, to celebrate the legacy of Dr. Christopher Abebe, father of former First Lady of Nigeria, late Mrs. Stella Obasanjo, and chairman of Indukon Nigeria Limited, Dr. John Abebe. The ceremonies began with an evening of tributes and songs in his memory held at the Jubilee Hall of St. Gregory's College. Dr. John Abebe, who is the eldest son, led other family members to the tribute, which had prominent Nigerians in attendance. And then my thoughts, my dream was changed, the no longer ran. The story of the life of Dr. Christopher Abebe is one wrapped with distinction and significant achievements. Aside his meritorious service in the corporate world, where he was a board member of reputable organizations, he also played a key role in his community as the Odionwere of Irekwe, and also in the Catholic Church, where he served as Papal Knight of St. Gregory and Supreme Knight of St. Mulumba. Dr. Christopher Ehudagi Abebe, whom you have called to yourself, granting a place of rest and light and peace. Father Grandis, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A truly emotional moment for his family who are greatly affected by this huge loss. At the event are personalities like the former interim head of state, Chief Ernest Shunekon, former Minister of Defense, Chief Theophilus Danjima and wife, Daisy, businessman, Chief Kunle Ojora and wife, Ujo Lakwe, chairman of Troika Holdings, Mr. Biodu Shubanjo, the Minister of Budget and National Planning, Senator Udoma Udo Udoma, former PDP governorship aspirant, Mr. Jimmy Agbaji, the publisher of The Guardian newspaper, Mrs. Maiden Ebru, as well as other guests, some of whom paid tribute to the late Dr. Christopher Abebe. Very humane 
very understanding, he listened to you, he empathized, he advised, and he made by example. We thank God for his impactful life of gentility and sincerity, simplicity and civility, punctuality and humility, tranquility and integrity, modesty and affability, fidelity and honesty, magnanimity, durability and longevity. Honesty and propensity for corporate governance, coupled with his transparency, industry, visionary planning, wisdom and integrity, have become a rare commodity in today's Nigeria. With all the things that have been said here, I'm still alive in the hearts of everybody here. We live in our hearts forever. On behalf of the family, Dr. John Abebe appreciates everyone for their support. Knowing what has happened to the family and what Papa has done, I certainly should be very grateful that I'm alive to do this. How can I thank you all for all the support you have shown? It's been overwhelming. Dr. Christopher Abebe has been laid to rest in his hometown of Irekwe, Edo State, leaving behind his wife of almost 75 years, Mrs. Teresa Abebe, children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, who will continue to remember him with great pride and admiration. May his soul find rest in the bosom of the Lord.